you've recently signed a contract extension through the 2019 season. How do you feel about the university and your commitment to the team? Well, right from the beginning, the uh, commitment from the university has been fantastic, and that goes right here to the athletic department. They've done a fantastic job uh, from day one making sure that we had the opportunity to be a, a growing and ultimately a good program here. And, uh, you know, th their statement uh, to give me this opportunity to be here through 2019 is something that's very exciting and something I'm proud of because uh, I have to thank them, but I also have to thank the young ladies that have been part of the program and uh, made a guy like me look okay. Okay. For the last six seasons, you've had two assistant coaches with you, Katie LaChapelle and Allison Kumi. How much of a benefit to the team have they been to you? as well as the players? Well, they've been a, a tremendous assets, I think, to this program, and they're people who came here with a great deal of experience. This is the fourth school that each of them has been at, and I think that gives them a, a little more worldly sense of uh, college hockey, different coaches they've been with, uh, the job that it, and what it entails. And, uh, you know, our program has been a benefactor, certainly from the recruiting part right off the bat to what goes on in the ice to the respect that the kids have uh, when they're being recruited and ultimately when they're playing here and uh, last and certainly not least is all the advice and guidance they give me on the uh, ice and on the bench uh, as a coach. Three Hockey East Championships, four straight NCAA tournament appearances. What do you believe it is about your coaching style that allows your teams to be so successful? Well, I give a lot of credit to the staff, the aforementioned staff, you know, Katie LaChapelle and Allison Kumi. Uh, before that, in the first three years, uh, two young ladies, Kirsten Matthews and Erica Silva, that were here that uh, really sort of helped us with the foundation, some of the early classes and some of the uh, early things we did as a program that helped us build. And, uh, you know, from there, as far as my style goes, I think it's uh, such things as uh, uh, trying to keep the kids uh, relaxed, not screaming, not yelling, and not uh, you know getting them uptight. I really believe that if you're going to play well in uh, games, you have to prepare during the week and let the kids play. Uh, this is not a game where there's a lot of timeouts or uh, huddles before every play, so the kids' ability to read and react is really important. Uh, and along the lines of preparation, uh, we've had a wonderful strength and conditioning staff led by uh, you know Darcy Kellum, who has done a fantastic fantastic job with this program for many many years and uh, I always say she plays a little bit of the heavy in the program you know I'm the one that's a little bit easier to be around but uh, she makes sure that the kids uh, don't miss a beat they're extremely well prepared and I give a lot of credit to her and her staff. Being a former Terrier yourself what would you say you look first and foremost when you're recruiting? Uh, I, I think the biggest thing here is, is uh, somebody who's adamant about coming to the city or excited about coming to the city, number one. And number two, they have to obviously be a quality student. Uh, beyond that, you try to do your homework on kids' character. You try to find people who have, uh, you know, three, four, or five of the uh, key skills in the game and, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're ready to be team players. But I, I really believe that a kid has to, you know, have that interest and be in, a, in an urban setting, and that's what we present here. That being said, what do you believe it means to be a Terrier student athlete? Well, uh, we, we tried to create our own tradition here, and uh, I, I think that BU has always been a place that the kids have worked extremely hard. The, the kids have been, uh, you know, proud of their successes here, and uh, you know, but yet we we live under a little bit of pressure because hockey's been kind of the uh, premier sport here at Boston University. And when we started, I said to the kids that uh, you know there's going to be that pressure. People are going to know you here at BU. You just make sure we're working as hard as anybody else, and uh, you know we're competing every single game. And if that happens, uh, we'll take our chances on the ice. Well, thank you so much, Coach. We look forward to watching you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mr. Rocher's contract extension. What do you believe is his most effective uh, component about his coaching? He, he always stays uh, calm under pressure. Um, his composure is definitely the top ranking among coaches in the NCAA, um, and it, it, it spreads throughout the team. You know, when he stays calm, it allows us to stay calm and focus on what we need to do, um, focus on the game rather than getting all mixed up in our emotions. And I think that definitely is his strongest point. That being said, what would be a few words you'd use to describe him? Um, he's strong, composed, um, intelligent. With DeRocher being a goalie in his time here, how do you feel like that's helped you in your own progression as a player? Well, I definitely think that Coach DeRocher's um, experience has been a huge contribution to not only me, but the rest of the team. Um, but me personally, when we go over game film and whatnot, um, it's one thing. But also with the mental part of the game, um, he has helped me immensely because goaltending is 99% mental. Um, and he, he's given me tips about composure, um, leadership that will last me a lifetime.